Hi everyone, Phil here, and today we visit Burkina Faso, a beautiful West African country that has recently seen terrorist activity. That's enough to scare anyone away, but it shouldn't because the dangers lie mainly in the north and the east, close to the borders of Mali and Niger. Stay in the southwest and have a local English-speaking guide who can steer you away from trouble, you'll be fine. I was, and here are my top 11 things to experience. Number 11, Sindhu Peaks. Millions of years ago, these sharp rocks were underwater, and over time they've been shaped by elements above the ground. Take a short hike and explore the unique formations and Martian-like landscapes. But make sure you bring water and sunscreen because it is hot out there. My drone nearly melted. Number 10, Nazinga Reserve. Burkina may not be well known for safaris, but Nazinga Reserve has wildlife comparable to parks in South Africa and Tanzania. It's full of elephants, and trust me, you don't need to drive far to get a look. The best time to see them, however, is between December and April. 10 seconds for a quick self-plug. On my channel, I've made playlists of the best videos for every country in the world. It's an amazing resource that's taken me hundreds of hours to produce. So I'm really glad you're here, but I'd be happier if you subscribe to support the work I'm doing. Number nine, Tibele. Home to the Kasena tribe, Chiberli is a village known for traditional mud huts with elaborately decorated walls. Burkina is a very poor country, but it's culturally rich, and these decorations, done with colored mud and white chalk, are an important part of its cultural legacy. Number eight, music and dance. One of the very best things of a trip to Burkina Faso is experiencing firsthand the incredible music and dance scene. And make no mistake about it, the locals get down. Number seven, sacred crocodiles. In the village of Vazale, residents live in harmony with hundreds of crocodiles which share the same water that kids swim in. Don't worry, the crocs are domesticated and have never attacked humans. They love chicken though, and guides will lure them with live birds so you can take a picture right on top. Pretty cool, but what about safety? If you're from Burkina Faso or have traveled there, please leave a comment below and let us know about your experience. Number six, Festima. Festima is an awesome cultural festival featuring dancers in traditional masks from all around West Africa. Made of leaves, straw, or wood, the masks transform the wearer into a spirit which they believe can communicate with their ancestors. Festima is a week-long celebration which was definitely the highlight of my trip. Stick around till the end and I'll show you more from my incredible experience, including some slow-mo shots you're not going to believe. Number 5. The Ruins of Loro Peni Loro Peni is Burkina's first UNESCO World Heritage Site, and here you'll find massive stone walls which were once part of an ancient fortress. The remains are over a thousand years old and reflect the power and influence of a once thriving Trans-Saharan gold trade. To this day, the site is still being excavated with so many more secrets to be discovered with time. Number four, Lake Tangrela. If you like hippos, then Tangrela Lake is your nirvana. Hippos are said to be the most dangerous African animal, but locals say that no fisherman has ever been harmed by one here. Be that as it may, I did sit on a crocodile, but uh, I draw the line at hippos. Number three, the Grand Mosque of Bobo Dialasso. This mosque is so cool. It's in the Sudano Sahelian style, with soft rounded edges and massive wooden rods coming from the walls. Tour through the dimly lit halls, then climb to the roof for an even better view of the incredible architecture. 
Number two, the domes of Fabra Dugu. Similar to the Sindhu peaks, but much older, the domes of Fabra Dugu were formed two billion years ago. They've certainly aged well because they show much less erosion than the Sindhu peaks. You can reach both of them on a day trip from Bobo di Lasso and even combine them with number one, Carfiguela Waterfall. Carfiguela is a series of falls which cascade from pool to pool over several hundred meters of rocky terrain. Massive rock formations send the water in different directions until it all meets up at the edge of the main waterfall. An easy 10 minute climb to the top and you've got the best view of the Burkina Bay countryside. With so much to see, how long should you really plan on staying? To get to everything on my list, excluding the Festima Mass Festival, which happens every other year, I'd budget 7 to 10 days. And take a closer look. My itinerary keeps you far away from the unsafe northern and eastern parts of the country. With that said, please don't try to do this on your own. I highly recommend getting an English-speaking guide and driver with a 4x4 truck in good working condition. I used a great local guide named Marlon, who also took me to the Festima Mask Festival. Oh yeah, I promised you more from Festima if you stuck around. Thanks for watching, and here you go. Okay, so whipping or the threat of whipping is the easiest way to get people to line in a single file, I guess. Hey guys, if you've watched my videos, you know by now that I travel with a secret weapon, Beaker. He's made people smile in over a hundred countries and loves to dress like a local. Just so happens that Burkina Faso has the best threads out there. Check it out. Ça va? Ça va? Oh, that is looking nice. Come to Burkina, it is a safe place. Don't worry, don't believe everything what you heard on television and radio. Please come. Huh? The day program ends around 5 p.m. and then after dark a whole new thing begins.
If you want to learn more about Burkina Faso, I've made a playlist of the best videos and vlogs out there. Check it out, right below. I've also made videos for other off the beaten path countries, right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, ciao.